Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Today's episode 18 and I really need to get rid of that dirt pillar. That was because I was trying to measure something and then I decided I wasn't going to do it. So I'm going to have to get rid of that in a moment because that is bugging me like crazy. Look how ridiculous it looks. Look at it. Stupid. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be working more on my completely normal and safe laboratory thing. Um, and yeah, I've got some amazing comments from you guys on the last episode with little ideas and things. So I kind of know a little bit of where I'm going now. I'm going to add lots of different things and uh, use some of your guys' ideas. And yeah, um, I've had some amazing feedback from you guys. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get some things together and probably start building more around this area so that we get the entrance done and then we do more uh, over here and then maybe make some kind of pathway. I feel like maybe this bit... Here should be some kind of long corridor and then there'll be a door down the end into here. But anyway, I need to get some staff members. I've been trying to find a villager zombie because uh, I really want to kind of cure one. I've never done that before, I don't think, except for in creative. And yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I thought it'd be quite nice to kind of challenge myself and get, you know, a golden apple and a weakness potion, which is somewhere... And uh, try that out in vanilla for once. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So we are gonna... Hopefully try and find one of those guys. They're not anywhere to be seen. They, none of them have spawned. It's always just normal zombies. Not very helpful. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this stuff. And I'll catch you guys in a second. <laughs> okay. Um, something strange just happened. I hear a zombie. And I'm looking around for it. I've come over here. I'm, I've got a night vision potion, by the way. Which is why it, we've got particles everywhere. But I was looking around everywhere for the zombie. <laughs> and these are... Um... We have a we have a friend. <laughs> I don't even know how we got there. I don't know. I did actually leave that open down there just in case that could happen. And uh, it had. I've completely forgot about the fact that I left it open down there just in case. Um, and we seem to have a little friend here who is just hanging out, you know, swimming in the drinking water. That's, that's fine as well, you know. Uh, the decontamination room and the zombie stuff. That's fine. They're completely clean and wonderful. Uh, no need to worry about diseases and things like that, but <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, he's having a nice little swim. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, he, he loves it. He loves it a lot. I've somehow made a uh, mob elevator. Brilliant. Okay, so I've come up here to take a bit of a break from down in the laboratory. Um, and I've come to say thank you to all of my patrons. Now, I've put their banners up. Not everyone has a banner just yet because not everyone has a reply. So if you are a patron, you haven't signed on a banner and you haven't sent it to me, then please go over and do that. But uh, I'm going to just uh, try and pronounce it everyone's name. This one is a hard one. T. Mitzderon, maybe. Maybe, thank you. We have Graham. Is awesome. He has a little England flag. This is a Zoidber Zoidberg, if you... If you don't know from Futurama, maybe. And uh, yeah, we have Cade1390, thank you. An awesome design, which actually goes really well with this design from Gary B. So thank you, dude. Uh, we have Bird Fusion, who I have a design for, but it, it includes a wither skeleton skull. So that might take a little while, dude. Uh, apologies, but it takes a little while to get that. And I need a, f like, not fortune, what is it? A, uh, whatever the, uh, Enchantment is on a sword to go and get that. We have Remuke. Remuke? Zero? Not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry, dude. Uh, but yeah, awesome flag design here. It's very colourful. And thank you, dude. We have Lars E. Again, not having a banner because I haven't got a reply. Thank you. We have Stuart S. So thank you, dude. And no banner again. And we have Dustin B. Who has come up with this design, which is pretty clever, actually. It's a cigarette with a cross through it because he's very kind of straight edge and stuff so thank you dude we have master skywalker again thank you we have a very cool banner design here as well i really like that the circular design it actually shows through the sun which is pretty pretty fancy we have ryan thank you um uh, ozakrin i'm not quite sure how to pronounce that but again thank you he's got a canadian flag design and then that is it we have some uh free ones here uh, for anyone else, just in case you were wondering and you wanted to become a patron, then uh, yeah, the link will be in the description if you are interested. But I just really want to thank these guys for being super awesome, and your banner designs are amazing. So, we finally have a staff member, and we're gonna go and see them now. They're in here, they're uh, already working, and you can hear them already. Uh, 
still got the wet floor sign there and um, let's make sure we decontaminate, there we are, brilliant. And uh, we have Albert in here, he's uh, just chilling there, you know, with his potion, he's uh, watching what everyone else is doing and he's all good. And then if we come out here, we have been starting on this corridor. Now this is the no entry uh, because that goes in, uh, you know, ignore that down there, that's uh, that's completely fine. Um, and we haven't installed the cake machine yet, it's still down there. Not not yet finished, so I'm sure I'll uh, go and do that at some point. But we have, uh, oh, M Mildred seems to have uh, gone out. But uh, we have a guest book here for if anyone does uh, visit the uh, the area. Um, and we have it here, just uh, perfectly fine. You know, you sign below, and uh, you're totally not signing your life away, basically. Uh, we're, we're all good. Um, but I've got the Alexa here just because of the pressure plates are a bit annoying. But we're going to actually do a little bit more of a corridor down here because... I've decided that it might be a nice idea to have a lower part, this bit in the middle here, which is going to take a little while to do, to dig out, but I think if we actually have some computers and things like that, checking on the security uh, of the server down in here, it might be quite nice and then have lots of, uh, not not experiments, that's the wrong word, Re research, research, that's what it is, uh, around the outside, that'll be, that'll be very nice. Uh, so if I put a little staircase here, I'm not quite sure how far this will go down, Probably a few more blocks down, three or four, and uh, I think that's going to look really, really cool. We also seem to have some kind of uh, escape ladder. I'm not quite sure even where this goes. Um, hello? There is a... Oh, there's a creeper um, who apparently escaped from somewhere. Oh, I said, okay, that leads to a cave. We'll uh, block it off. Don't want to be letting any creepers down the ladder. And if we go up here... There is not really much else. I think this actually may have been ours from a while ago, but uh, as long as no mobs and that can get in here, we should be okay. Let's just say I've done quite a bit um, since I last recorded. I have just been building this like crazy. I've been really, really enjoying it actually, and it's just oh, I just didn't want to like stop. Uh, like, uh, didn't want to start recording because I thought it might kind of get me out of the flow of it but as you can see we have been doing quite a bit now we have this little area here which uh, I'm gonna fill with props at some point it's completely fine and fine for me to stand here at the moment no uh, no weird like airborne, airborne diseases or anything in there yet uh, there may be in the future though because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to every hermit's base uh, or at least however many this is uh, to gather some crops, because I've got a sneaking suspicion that that block is the wrong block. Um, no, but that there are spy plants out there? I know, sounds really freaky. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I am full security, uh, I'm going to be making sure that none of the plants are evil and uh, none are going to come alive and kill the other hermits, because that would be, that'd be really bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, we don't want that. We have uh, that up there and... Uh, we have this in here. Now, I'm really not sure about this. I think it's looking kind of cool. I think if I do that correctly in there, it'll look pretty cool. But anyway, let's head down there the proper way. There'll be a staircase here. I may replicate it on that side at some point, but not, not just yet. Because we do have this bridge here. Otherwise, um, we're going to put some stairs here up to this platform. And now, um, there will be some kind of uh, lovely, uh, nice little reactor somewhere at some point um so just in case we get any spills or anything we've got you know an area down there that i'm gonna glass off just just in case you know just so that you know we're not gonna have any issues um of you know lava or you know just deathly uh, uh liquids or something spilling into here because we, do, we don't want that we want it to be you know nice and safe and and lovely so yeah we've got it kind of nice and clean uh ignore that painting there i was just admiring a nice piece of artwork that i collected it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, um, pretty cool. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I've done. I also added glass to here. Um, I'm missing a little bit. But yeah, this is where the uh, mobs were coming up because there is a cave underneath there, which I kind of thought, you know what, I'm not going to block off this cave or light it all up. I thought I would just leave it so that if any uh, friends want to come join me, like the squid and like the zombie, uh, they can. They can come up and uh, join me for the party. And uh, we have... Albert in there is just, you know, chilling out, he's enjoying himself, he's, he's, he's really enjoying himself at the, at the job. Um, it's 24-7, but you know, he's, he's fine with that, that's all, all good. And yeah, I'm just pretty much gonna, I think, probably continue with this a little bit longer. It is taking me a long while. I am thinking of adding some kind of item elevator in the middle here. Um, 
but I'm really not sure how to do that. I know that, I can't remember who it is, one of the hermits uploaded a video on how to make ones, kind of recently, I think, maybe Mumbo or Azuma, I'm not sure. Um, and maybe I'll check that and maybe build it myself if I can work it out. If not, I may actually be hiring Mumbo again at the Red Redstone Consultancy to do it for me because, well, basically I'm really bad at Redstone. But um, yeah, that's what I might do there. Just, uh, you know, uh, elevate items up to the wherever I'm going to put them. I haven't quite decided yet. But anyway, this is looking pretty epic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I've been working like a crazy person on this and I've finally kind of come up with some kind of design down here that I would like. I would like to add a bit of colour to it though, it's a bit grey, it's a bit mumbo. Um, there's a lot of white going on as well though, which I don't I don't actually use iron blocks ever. So this is definitely the most I've probably used ever. Um, but yeah, the cobblestone is just me planning out. I'm going to have a big kind of control desk room thing, I don't know what, what I'm going to call it. And then two little desks here. And I'm thinking that's going to be cool. I'm actually thinking maybe these blocks here could be changed for stairs. Because I'd quite like to have it so that I don't need too much lighting down here. I would like a little bit of lighting. But uh, mobs don't spawn on stairs. So I'm mm, not quite sure how that really looks. It looks a bit strange. But I think if I did that there and there as well. And then the half stabs are here and here. That might look kind of cool. Uh, I've also added some lava up there. Let's go around and uh, go have a look. I keep running out of glass though. I need to go and collect some more sand from uh, up there. But uh, yeah, this is kind of looking cool. So I've got the lava here. That one just goes all the way to the ceiling there, down down to the same area as this. And uh, yeah, we're kind of going to keep them separate, I think. Cause they're not really too good together. So uh, I think that'll be okay. And then... We're obviously going to have the same kind of thing over here. Now there'll be a corridor. I'm not sure whether or not it'll be an exit or not. I feel like we should have one entrance, one exit. But then this, I want rooms in here instead of uh, little things like this. So like this room here, I'll have multiple rooms in there as well. But more of kind of, you know, more going on in that one rather than uh, the same kind of stuff here. I don't really need a guest book in here. I don't really need... The deco oh, I might need to get decontainment chamber again, but uh, I think I'm good for now. Um, it only works when I do wrong press plate. This one, um, I may need to change that how that's hooked up. But I think that'll be alright. Alfred's alright in there, just chilling with his drink. He's just having a, a grand old time, and uh, Mildred still isn't back apparently. So uh, may have to send a search party out for her. But other than that, we should be okay. So that is sadly all the time I have for this episode. We are going to get on with this probably next episode as well because I just want to get so much done in here. It's been a really, really fun project. I've cleared out all the ceilings so it's about the height that I want. May go up a block or two. I don't think I want to do too much there. I want to kind of keep it very simple. I could in fact actually keep it stone because I really want to keep this ravine in here as well. I want to kind of make it look like it is just kind of chuck, uh, like dug out of the ground basically and uh, you know this ravine kind of adds a nice touch you can see the windows up there people can kind of see into here but there's you know I'm sure I'll put everything I don't want to be seen from up there out of sight so that's probably okay so people can actually see it from up there but they can't come down at the moment I've got a no entry no recording sign but I'm sure that will change in the future we'll uh, invite some people to come over maybe and check it out and uh, maybe do a bit of exploring and stuff I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet but there is a guest book over there ready for all of that but anyway I'm going to have to end this episode here so thank you very much for watching I will probably be recording a mod source episode next so there will probably be a bit of time um, in you know to comment on this video and I should see them before I record the next one of these so that will be cool to get your feedback again uh, since you can now actually kind of see how things are shaping up I definitely need some rooms down there I've had some great ideas from you guys already but I'm going to wait see if there are any better ones or maybe just different things that maybe I haven't seen before to put in there and then I will get on with that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you guys next time. See ya!